Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, Batman smelt, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel to the Joker, God, <laughs> Welcome back to part two of our Christmas Spectacular. At the Spinner Rack, as always, I'm your host, BB Brian Adams, joined by my co-host... Junior Ruiz, co-host the Comics Remix. And our special guest... Carrie the Camera Guy from the 101. Jonathan Paparella of The Lockup. And Tony Blando, co-host of The Lockup, podcast for all things wrestling. Yeah, I like that. Yes! I like, I like the cut of your jib. He's smooth. He's smooth. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Very suave. That was good. That's good stuff. He's, he's going to be good at plugging. Oh, yeah. Which You're me and pro, him forget man. to do for multiple <laughs> years. But anyway... <laughs> You were you had a story you were about to yeah tell. yeah I had given my my Chris my best and worst Christmas and now just as I think about it as I listen to your guys see stories, the flashbacks are coming back aren't yeah, they yeah for sure <laughs> so I guess I'll start because the yeah I'll start with my worst my more worse than my older brother Dominic beating the crap out of us on the couch um, <laughs> I remember I know what could be more worse than that right but uh, I. I just remembered that one year... Finding out the baby's not yours on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. Uh, I Somebody opened up... Dying? I don't know. That might be a present to some people, dude. <laughs> I opened... Look, yes! <laughs> Make your Jesus! <laughs> it's a Christmas so miracle. Right? Right. No, Make it was a... Uh, I opened up a pair of Christmas boxers that it said, like, Merry Christmas on there, and it had Christmas holly all over it. And this wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was, I'm thinking, like, oh, my parents are trying to play a joke on me or something, and I look around, and I, I'm still smiling, and I'm waiting for somebody else to laugh, like, so I know that this is a joke, and no one does. And then they I was probably like, didn't, because they saw you smiling, like, oh, shit, he likes him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, the joke's over. Don't say anything. So then Our I just kind of sailed. And I thought to myself, like, is this a, this is a serious gift? You know what I mean? And I was like, all right. And I just kind of threw it aside, and it was whatever. Did you but wear them? No, I, have, I don't think <laughs> I've ever worn them. <laughs> I think they the holly itch. I, can, I know for a fact I, I still have Christmas story, go put yeah, it on. You still yeah, have those? Oh, my God. I still open my underwear drawer or whatever for whatever pair of underwear, and they're in there. I'm just like, oh, why? Why? You realize, why? Like, now you need to go home and take a picture, and I'll send you a message when you <laughs> post this. <laughs> yes. And then you can post them on Facebook. <laughs> Dude, that's great. <laughs> All right. All right. Nothing's, nothing's better than a visual for people. Definitely. I agree. Like, some of the faces this motherfucker makes sometimes, I just wish, like... <laughs> they, like the one see. I just gave him. Like oh, yeah. the silence, we make weird faces at each other. Definitely. So have to, like you have to see this, and we have to explain it. <laughs> you re, re- listen to it. I'm like, man, this is fucking stupid, and I gotta cut it out. Right. But anyway. So what about other bad clothing? Anyone else ever get Christmas sweaters, than, dude? Like you were yeah, saying, yeah, they the were the worst. worst. My parents were for some the reason. Worst. You would get the cool toy, but then they would get the worst clothes. You'd be like. You got the toy now. Here's your, you know, like you said, your shitty sweater or you know socks or something First, crazy. I'm just lucky hey. that, like, mm-hmm. I just got the pajamas. Was probably the only clothes I can remember getting. Like, I, I'm sure I don't know if him in his room has any memories like this, but I'm positive this never happened to me. I never got like a shitty sweater from someone, like from a relative that we were going to see at like a Christmas dinner that I would then be forced to wear. I think <laughs> the magical, non-existent God that that never happened <laughs> because that would have sucked, man. It's like you said, Toy Story and the Pink Bunny album. Yeah, that's like I, I fucking yeah. killed myself, man. Harry Carey, dude. I actually get decent clothes. Like my my parents and my grandparents. Wait, wait, did you say Toy Story? Yeah. Did I say Toy? I meant I meant Christmas, Christmas Story. Christmas story. <laughs> Fuck. Close enough. Close yeah, enough. Yeah, right. Whatever. Same shit. I'm old. But I'm yeah. Old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my grandparents and my parents were all like, we're they're happy. very proud of being Italian, you know. So they, uh, they, they're they down to buy like these ridiculously expensive colognes sometimes <laughs> and like so over the top sweaters. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get all stereotypical so you got cologne and a jumpsuit for Christmas? I have no jump. Actually, like yeah, I have got jumpsuits now that you mention it. This way it was. Yeah, it's oh, pretty stereotypical, but you know, that's the stuff that we get. As far but they as made them wear go. dress shoes with it? <laughs> that's great. It's racist, but that's great. <laughs> so I, I mean, good clothes. I never got bad clothes, except for those boxers. I got a, me tur- I got a turtleneck with zip-off sleeves. Yeah, dude. Wow. It makes him sound like a gimp. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it was, like some <laughs> '80s shit. Like he just wore some leather fingerless clothes. Yeah, and yeah. Shit. Dude, I remember, like, <laughs> I was when I was like four, and I got. I can't remember if it was for my aunt or. 
my aunt and uncle, my grandparents, and I, like, because, you know, it's snow outside. like that whole rest of the year, I I was in like a turtleneck phase. All I wanted to wear was a turtleneck, like even if it was in the heat of summer. And I got that, and I was like, "Oh, cool, dude! It's got sleeves. I can I can zip it off." And my parents were just like, "Yeah, you're returning that." <laughs> so and your parents it, saved you from embarrassment. And I never I never saw the thing again. And I was just kind of like, "Well." That's funny yeah. shit. <laughs> Looking back now, I was like, well, saved me a boatload of embarrassment, but back and then. whoopings, I would imagine. Mm. <laughs> Get in the locker, punk. Give me your sleeve. Yeah, give me your <laughs> sleeve. Dude, I always hated the horrible gifts you would get from family members or, like, friends of the family. That, like, would just get you just the worst shitty gift. It's like, wow, I hang out with your kid every day for, like, ten years, and we both are into G.I. Joe and shit, and you get him all this awesome G.I. Joe shit, and you got me a plaid shirt. Have you ever seen me wear a plaid shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no, you see me fucking playing with your kids' G.I. Right? Joes. What the fuck? This kid's playing with a brand new Warthog, and I got this fucking plaid shirt. That's and he's got the U.S. flag, so right, yeah. 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 Right. salt in the wound. Right, totally. I, 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 <laughs> I know exactly how you feel, Big B. <clears throat> um, Brian, I don't think you have to answer this, because I know the answer is probably the fucking flag. And I think you've told me this, but... Vin or some I don't know if I can keep calling you. Stop looking like your brother. <laughs> Tony, John, and Carrie. Has there ever been a gift that you wanted so bad, never got, but a rel- a very close relative or friend got instead and rubbed it in your face that they got it and you didn't? The, okay, mine actually connects exactly to what Brian was just talking about. Uh, I spent one Christmas at my aunt and uncle's house, and my aunt and uncle there. Their family's freaking huge. Like, my aunt, she has, like, 14... They don't listen to this, right? They got 14 siblings. I'm just saying, because they don't listen to this. Uh, kids talking shit about us? I don't believe so. I don't, I don't believe so. Dude, he gets a fucking know. sweater with sleeves. <laughs> 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 Fuck him. <yeah. laughs> no, no, no. They, uh, from my father's side. Okay. Like, they and uncle... And this, so, like, your father's side don't have... They, that family don't have ears or something? They don't listen to this? No, they... they heck, I don't even know I'm part of it. But I'll continue. Uh... And their usual thing is they get Santa to come for the kids. And they had Santa come, and they had all Santa give out the gifts. And <laughs> one of the kids had gotten, and this is when, like, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue just came out, and I wanted the weapons for it so bad. And Santa just pulls out a big box, and I was just like, I'm like, that's going to be for me, that's going to be for me. And I was and he just said, and he goes, this one says Nicholas, and hands it to him, and he's like, it's the weapons! And then he pulls out my name, and I got, like, a dinky little Star Wars watch. I was like, I got you beat. I was like, damn, man. <laughs> I got you beat. I was like, this sucks. I once got a pack of baseball cards from my aunt. Well, that sucks. <laughs> That's still not as bad as a authentic state court. <laughs> yeah, That's <laughs> really awful. Like, I'm 26, <laughs> dude. Buy me a 40. <laughs> <laughs> but did you get s- yeah, zip off sleeve yeah, turtleneck? No. Yeah. What about you, Carrie? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. There's no one that ever, I never had the present where it's, you know, I wish I had that instead, but I do mm-hmm. some stuff, you know, a couple friends would get, like, at Christmas, and mm-hmm. you'd go over there because you would, you know, yeah. bring your toys, and they'd have, so, things I remember were the Micronauts. Okay. And the thing, if you guys yeah. remember, the, I don't know if you guys... That name remember. sounds The Micronauts now. were, uh, they were like Star Wars figures, They were, but they were metal, and they were kind of like, um... How would you describe? They were describe. They were Star Wars meets Lego because you would take yeah. them apart and you would you could rebuild stuff. Totally got to interrupt you. Sure. I saw a commercial today for like a new. It's not Lego, but they're like the blocks. Right. And, the, and like the blocks can transform. And the blocks transform into yeah, they're characters. Like, they're like Tech Knights or something. Yeah. Like they're called. Yeah. I saw tech, a commercial tech too. Or techno Knights or some shit. So like that's that. what we're asking for for Christmas. Now? No, but they look bad. Right. So they're like little Lego blocks that right. you can transform into robots. They make the they make the they make these new Creo Transformers look the like the Creos are awesome. They are awesome, but they make the they make the Creo Transformers look like crap. new new brand. I think it's uh, like, it starts with an I. I think it's like a complete like the, the a new the emerging third the party. The Beatles, the Beatles figures. I got the Kiss ones for Christmas. <laughs> I just saw them. We don't we haven't exchanged gifts for a long time, my family, and we were just rolling through shopping for I don't remember who. I think my old lady side of the family. And I saw them like oh ten bucks guy for my sister, and then the whole time I'm like you know. Nobody in my family would be as thoughtful as this. This is something I'd actually fucking like. <laughs> so I'm keeping these. Yeah. <laughs> so have you ever... Have you, I just You're thought... Just, have you ever, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's, that's, that's the spinner rack. That's what we... Yeah. It is. It is. No, so so I, my thing was the, the Micronauts. And the, like I said, what I was explaining was there's, there were just so many of them that you... 
if, unless your parents were loaded, you couldn't get all of them. But you mm. wanted all of them and all this stuff. So, you know, you would bring your, you know, like, um, Land Rover thing. And then someone would have the helicopter. Like, fuck, I want the helicopter. You know? Mm. So it was, it was that kind of thing. It wasn't yeah. any, anyone, like, waving in front of your face. It was just, well, you want it all. You know? And you're like, well, right. well, now I want that. Because... You know, he's got it, and it looks cool. So that was pretty much mine. I can't really think of anything. When we all leave, he's going to jump on fucking eBay and be like, Micronauts. Right. I already got something. (laughs) (laughs) As you were saying, Brian? Were you the type of kids, any of you, to, like, go and investigate? Obviously, you were already talking about it, and you had said something about going down and ripping it open and seeing the flesh color that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Have you ever investigated your presence? I knew my mom's stash spots. So I yeah. was so the same here. Was yeah, can we ever find those? I, mean, I know all the stash spots. I wasn't such a douche of a kid to look for the stash spots. <laughs> or you were just fucking lazy. I, what I, are they? You know, I, I probably I, was I, funny. Knowing my <laughs> physique as a fucking almost 40 year old man, I pointed out the laziness myself. But I remember one year, dude, I dug under the tree and I'm like, it's late at night and I'm like trying to fucking figure out what everything is. And there was this thing and I'm like, what in the. I was just fucking baffled. Like, what the fuck is this? And the only thing that I could think of it could be was like those little cans of bald ham. Right? <laughs> 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 Explain your physique. The heavy guy. Let's get him ham. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, the 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 ham. Oh like, my oh, god, dude. Like, why the fuck would my parents buy me a little mini can of ham? <laughs> so like the whole fucking month, dude, I'm just like, I, I, I want to I, I open it and then just reseal it just to know it. But I waited. It ended up being a fucking Batman watch. Nice. So were you disappointed in a kid? Yeah, no, I was like, I, yeah, I, was, I, like, my I was like Mystery Ham. Like, oh, this, yeah. ham. this ham is not going to be good it's when like, we this open this. This is going to go down. It's like the worst <laughs> fucking gifts ever. I can't have fucking... What the fuck? It's no. spam. It's better than ham. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was weird. I Like, seriously, it had like those can yeah. of canned ham. It was fucking strange, man. Hmm. No, I, I peeked a couple times, if I remember right. I think there yeah. were one or two. I think I actually got in trouble for peeking once. So yeah. Like, you're not getting it! Yeah. <laughs> like, I had friends that did that <laughs> right. shit. They fucking got caught, like, unwrapping their right. gifts, and their parents took all the shit back and bought different <laughs> shit. It's like, man, that's both. Oh, no, that wasn't that. It was no, gone. You, you were it, like, was, it was like, you broke the rules, that shit's <laughs> gone, After man. a while, my mom started to get smart, because, like, once the internet started to become huge, especially for sales, she would get all the packages in, and I'd be like, okay, Christmas stuff. But she wouldn't open them, like, just to check what it was, because she, she would know. So I'd be like, fuck, man, what is it? Oh, I broke it in my bed. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> my little brother was really ballsy with that type of stuff. He mm-hmm. would go downstairs, and he would, like, unwrap some of his stuff and peek at it. And then, like, with the tape, tape it Dude, yeah, tape. He was nice. crafty. I've done that a few As times. a kid, that's, that's like Mission Impossible, you know? You yep. come in from the right. ceiling. <laughs> yeah. My mom <laughs> learned how a trick around that. Like, a lot of my action figures, what she would do is wrap them and you know when you go to like jc Penney or some shit and you buy the t-shirt the box for your shirts the real thin ones you mm. put the toys in there and wrap that up yeah so like, yeah Fuck you. you're gonna open the package right you just use a white box asshole that's right. what you get from my me. mother like, did that to me last year yeah mm. she gave me this box from like <laughs> it's just a box some there's nothing mall in it. The store yeah or some store at the mall i don't know why i said mall store i can't remember what the fuck it was but it was like i knew just from the name on the box when i unwrapped it that this is some shit that I'm going to have to take back. Because <laughs> they don't sell fat man clothes. <laughs> and she was all like, oh, you know, I knew you needed some clothes. And I saw this and I thought it looked nice. And I was just like, man, what the fuck? And it was it was a couple Xbox mm. games. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, caught me by surprise, yeah, dude. That's, what, that's the coolest. It's a good strategy. It's, it's a great strategy. It, unless he goes, fuck it, and starts yeah. yelling at people. In yeah. It's like, oh, this is the clothes from Carson. Fuck this shit. When I, would, when I would still get action figures, my mom got smart with it because she would know... Like, Obviously, when you wrap an action figure, like, yeah, it, it, of yeah it. it looks like an action figure. So my mom, she would find, like she would warp them. She'd like make it look like a cross She's or whatever. Right. Right. My mom nice. would do it too. Like you take, the, like you lay one figure and mm-hmm. put, like bubble to bubble. Yeah, you, you know what? My parents way. said the same thing. Maybe mm-hmm. they share strategies. Right? Yeah. yeah. My parents, you know those big popcorn yeah. tins? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I was like probably five or six years old. They put a lot of food looking. Yeah, I was going to say, how do we fuck with the yeah, kids? This, this is when I was still small and thin, if you could believe that. Yeah. There, there was a time I've when I was I've seen older pictures here. of you where you kind of thin. Until they, and, kept, uh, they, kept, they kept giving you this food stuff, and you know. And I remember I opened it, dude, and it was just a load of fucking Star Wars food. Maybe it was like right. subliminal like, messaging for him. To, uh, she didn't want me to know what it was. Mm-hmm. Right. So what they did is they cut all the packaging off and just left the clam and the figure. Mm. 
and then stuffed them in a fucking can. Like, <laughs> I had 15 of them. So there's no card. Sweet. Yeah, there was okay. no card. Oh, okay. Well, it was like five. Right. So what the fuck do I care? I guess. <laughs> He's like, that's against the law. It took me a minute to realize what what that was, but Junior, the tear already started to yeah, well yeah, start right, dripping no down. Like, oh, no. It's like that story you told me a couple weeks ago about being a seeing some kid with a finger at Walmart and then asked the kid what he did with it. Yeah, <laughs> and then the kid showed him and he had fucked up the car dime so no one would buy it. Buy it. It's like, well, if I can't have it, fuck. <laughs> And then Junior beat him, and that was the end of that. I wanted to, the little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he was smart, though. But he's still a little bastard. So what about, here's one for you guys. How about Christmas specials? Like on TV. What were, Ooh. do you guys remember, like, uh, do you guys have a favorite? I watch the same ones every year, and to yeah, this day, I still watch them. Yeah. The, the CBS shit, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is coming to town, but the, the, the stop motion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are yeah. my favorite. Yeah. I, I have those, those on favorite. TV now, so I don't watch them off of TV. Charlie Brown. TV. I don't watch yeah, Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown Classic. Um, and Home Alone. I've always got to watch yes. the first Home See, Alone. See, I have to watch, like, at my house, Christmas, it's Christmas stories on the whole 24-7? Everyone's all react. Well, you, know, you just fucking turn the TV on and it's always yeah. on, you know? Well, TBS does that, like, 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear they're fucking, they're supposed to make a, a sequel to, uh... Was it, a it's wonderful a wonderful life, life. Yeah. yeah. They announced it, uh, yeah. You know what, speaking that's of that horrible. movie, that's the movie that my parents would break out every Christmas, and mm-hmm. they would try to uh, get us to sit down and watch it, and I, to this day, have never finished it. Well, here's the thing. Movie. It's worth seeing once, but here's the problem. It, it's supposed to be a feel-good movie, but once again, once you actually take in the whole movie and you really think about it, you, go, you know what, nothing really fucking changed in this movie. It's still <laughs> it's it's like, it's yeah. it's kind of depressing. Yeah. This is totally off subject because this yeah. movie's not a Christmas right. movie, but this is 40. Yeah. If you've never seen This Is 40, you go in thinking this is a comedy, and it's mm-hmm. like one of the most dark, depressing fucking comedies <laughs> yeah, I've ever yeah. watched. Yeah. It's about this couple, and they turn 40, and their kids are crazy, and they really hate each other. But it's comedy. It's like, yeah. I laughed some, but it's not what I expected. <laughs> but it made me more sad. And it made me else. feel bad to be 40. So right, yeah, know, totally. It's like I'm fucking two so, years away from 40. Yeah, if you, have, if you, have, if you sit down and watch it, I mean, it is a great movie. It is an American classic. I've but never seen it. What? Once again, it is a great movie, but when you get done with it, you're like... Uh, I just wasted two hours. Yeah, yeah. Well, not really wasted, but he said, okay, it was good, but the right. guy's station in so life never it's changed. Not like, it's not like a Christmas Carol where you get the payoff where Scrooge actually changes. No. Yeah. So is it a feel-good movie? It is. Yes right. and no. All I could say is what? It's it a class It's debatable. Maybe it's another movie history. that I like to watch is uh, Scrooge. Oh, yeah. I love that That's one. That's a classic, man. Mm-hmm. Hands off, big man. Hey, yep. I I always have my top three for the holiday season. Jingle all the way. I mean, uh-huh. I got to get the terrible man. <laughs> yeah. nice. Put that cookie down nice. now. They just saw a commercial for that mm-hmm. last night. Yeah, and then seen that in years on Christmas Eve. I, I, in, in, the, in the morning, yeah. I always watch Christmas with the Joker from Batman the animated series. Okay. Solid. And then at night, and this one's my wrestling one. ECW's December to Dismember. <laughs> <laughs> Because nothing says Christmas like you know. Nothing says like, Christmas uh, like a cheese grater to the head. Yep. You know, <clears throat> my my yeah. my favorite is still it's it's a little rare, but it's called a Wish for Wings that Work, and it is a Bloom County Christmas animated special, and it's hysterical. Hmm. So if you guys ever heard of Bloom County, I know you would have. No, yeah, no, I don't think I've ever seen. Really, it. it's with Opus mm-hmm. and Bill the Cat. And it is just, it's just, it's nuts. And it's just, you sit there and you watch, you go, like, wow, this is some sick bastard writing this. <laughs> wow. I'm going to fucking funny. watch Home Alone on was Friday. Like <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait How long has South Park been on the air now? 15 oh, years? Oh, the Christmas, like oh, yeah. God. The Christmas poop, okay? <laughs> the year <laughs> oh, <this year, laughs> that came on, I, like, poop. taped that shit. And I happened to be, I think I was, like, 23. Blew with my pants. <laughs> Calm down. And we're up I put myself in your and mouth and that shit some pictures. And the fucking old man has, like, a fucking freak out on me. It's like, what the fuck is this crap? Turn this fucking shit well, off. It's even, fucking Christmas. Well, the, like, the original South Park was a Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was Santa versus uh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it was a Christmas Dude, card. I just, wow. The Simpsons, the very first episode of The Simpsons was a Christmas was special. Yeah, yeah, when they get the dog, Santa's little helper. Oh, that's yep. right. Yeah. I just, I don't know, dude. I just, like I was saying, the South Park shit, that one. Where Mr. Hanky realized he was dying because he was yeah. drying out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, and you see that. I just no. let you know yeah. what time when you were sleeping. Yeah. I put myself I put in your mouth, mouth and I took some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> dying. <laughs> oh, that was Jeez. great. And he had his his uh, the kids. He had that one kid that had a fucking corn. 
stuck in yeah, his head. Yeah. And he's like, he's special. He's special. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! He's a fucking turd with a piece of corn it's in his head. Mr. Hanky the Christmas too. So that, that qualifies great. as Christmas. The Christmas yeah, special. Does, yeah. Speaking of just fond memories, now that I'm thinking about like sitting down with my family and like when we used to watch, he's like, I need to go somewhere else now. No, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I used to watch. It's a Wonderful Life. One of the, I think, more so than the one I mentioned in the in the first part of this two part uh, series was uh, like a more fond memory I have of Christmas was uh, every year before my parents got divorced, they would write this. They would take a sheet, like a long, big sheet of wrapping paper, and cut it so it's just a big square and write this letter supposedly from Santa Claus that was actually really really touching because my family would go through some really intense stuff over the year and it would just kind of address like all those things and supposedly like Santa was watching all of us and like he wanted to let us know everything was going to be okay and he would address like all those specific things and it made I don't know it kind of put a period on the whole thing like we'd all open the gifts everybody has a good time and then mom would say like oh and Santa wrote this and it's over here and she'd read it and it puts a punctuation on the year too, and that's, that's probably the nice. Best, that's what I said, dude. That's awesome. Oh, that that is, that's as I awesome. think of it, like it gives me chills. Did your mom ever like tear up while reading it or something? Because I would imagine if you're gonna go did. back and read something like, especially if it's a letter addressing a lot of the ups and especially the downs <clears throat> they went through the year, and you're like at the end of the letter, you're basically just stating, "Don't worry, things are gonna be okay." Yeah. I I fucking start bawling, man. Mm. My dad you know? definitely would tear up sometimes. My mom would get shaky, but she was she was like she had just woken up. So she's like barely even there, you know what I'm saying? She still like, used to get the, the Christmas sherry, you know? Yeah. Yeah. With the cup of coffee, what the fuck did I write? I mean, what is Santa right? <laughs> wow, Santa was blitzed. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's the one you should look forward to. What Santa's had a little bit too much. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Just one all time favorite Christmas movie. Just one. Because oh. I know we've thrown a few of them around. If you had to pick one. Oh, I got it. What is it? The Ref. What? The Ref with oh, Dennis Leary. Really? I haven't heard of that one. You know that or Bad Santa? Bad Santa. Oh, I got Bad Santa. Santa. I hated, Santa. hated that movie. Oh. Really? I it was all right. The Ref the 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 is also like an anti Christmas. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. It is, it's messed up. It's hysterical. <laughs> John? Come back to me. I'm still thinking of one. I'll, I'll give you guys mine. Well, I'm kind of in a sentimental mood. It's another movie that I watch with my family around Christmas time, and that's the. The Claymation Rudolph movie. Yeah. That Great one movie. always just reminds me of my family, so I like that one a lot. Me? It's a Christmas story all the way, man. Yeah. Yes, you child. It's just, man. <laughs> Only I didn't say fudge. Right. <laughs> I have to go with Home Alone, the first one. I just, I don't know. The music, the soundtrack in that fucking movie was just great. If you, yeah. listen, you could listen to that movie, and if that movie does not get you in a Christmas spirit, nothing ever will. Those movies were funny. They're really crafty. With the the I'd have to say, Year Without Santa Claus with the uh, Heat Miser and the Snow Miser. Yes! Mm -hmm. have, you ever, have any of you ever watched, uh, it's not, was it Christmas with the Cranks? I don't know. Oh, I, I, I think it was a Star Wars Christmas one. special. Yeah. Oh my god. Was that, the, was that the Ewok one? Yeah. There's, another, there's a Christmas special. <laughs> Are you thinking of like eight crazy That's the one with Tony Soprano, where uh, he was the That's dad. And Ben Affleck, where he was just like, Reindeer Games? To like be the, act like the yeah, he was like, this was the house I grew up in. Reindeer Games. No, no? it's Christmas. No. Oh, Reindeer right. Games was a fucking action movie, man. <laughs> He's like, they shot Reindeer, man. Yeah, I was, that's the thing, Reindeer. No, 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 it's like Ben Affleck was this big, big money character. I, I, I think that might be Christmas with the Cranks. No, Christmas with no, the Cranks. No, that was a Tim, Tim Allen. Allen movie. Oh, it was Tim mm -hmm. Allen. Yeah. Um, basically, he the plays this character that's just got like a shitload of money, and he wants to spend Christmas... In the house that he grew up in, but there's already a family living yeah. there. I'm, so he's yeah, paying the that family to uh, to pretend that they're his family and let him live there. Mm. It's like it's Tony Soprano, Ben Affleck, Christina Applegate was in the movie. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I don't remember Can't remember that that, the name of that damn movie though. So if anyone listening knows, yeah. <laughs> well, by the time mm -hmm. Brian's on his phone anyway, so I'm sure he's searching the movie. On that phone? On that phone? On that phone? On that phone? It okay. could take, uh, take a year well, here. This could be next I'm, Christmas. I'm texting, I'm texting the wife. She knows. Mm. Yeah. Well, this she likes that movie. I don't need her. This I'll idea just out. popped in my head. What a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> Relating it back to comic books, uh, the uh, the superhero movies that Surviving had, Christmas. Oh, that one. Okay. That had... Uh, 
to do with Christmas, or happen. they were during the time of Christmas. I don't. I can't think of. Well, I'm, what was your question? I'm sorry. Like, like you know, Supergirl, the, like the Superman Super movies Christmas? that kind of took place during Christmas. I can't. You know, I know there's a couple Batman that takes place. Yeah, there's a couple issues. I mean, there was Batman Returns. Yeah, Batman Returns was Christmas. Yeah, yeah and then Iron yeah. Man Three was supposed to take place during Christmas. Wait, we even, don't talk about Iron Man. Say, even, <laughs> I'm just saying. Iron Man what? What? Huh? Yeah, Iron Man what? I'm trying to think of um nothing that I can I think of. I have a feeling like there was more of them. I, I know there were so, there were certain cartoons. But cartoons that were yeah. supposed to be maybe issues. Like actual yeah, comic yeah, issues. issues like the Lark Flea's Christmas special. I didn't yeah. read that one, but it sounds awesome. No? I it was alright. I didn't read it. I don't read it. If no. it's anything like his solo book, it's a lot of shit. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, right. ho. Uh, how are we doing on time? Five minutes? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I guess we can wrap it up with the one gift. I don't know if I've, I don't think I've asked this. One gift you can get this year. One gift only. What was the one gift that you'd be like, okay, if you're going to give me something this year, this is what would make my year? See, this is funny because I buy my own shit. I, I got so. my answer right now. Dude, the, the flag? The flag. The flag. The flag. No, right? You know, I'm, the, we're going to drop the flag. I want a better 20, 20 fucking 14. I want a better year than this year. Okay, now, now stuff-wise. Yeah, we're talking Something stuff. materialistic. Yeah, don't get all sentimental. You know, whole piece of... I was going like, to say, dude, that, like, dude, that, like, dude, that was kind of deep. I like it. I want... Hey, motherfuckers, look at that. I want world peace. Give me an Xbox One, bitch. I know, seriously. Seriously? Xbox One? That would be it, yeah. Like the, like the original, or is that the new one that's coming that's out? The new one. The new one. came out yesterday. Nice. Tony? Then my asshole cousin took the picture of him holding and smiling and sent it to me. I got one better than you. No. I got one better than you. One of my homeboys, because he shares an apartment with two, uh, two of my other guys. They each bought. So he's got the Wii U on a picture on top of the PS4, sitting on top of the Xbox One. Wow. He's like, "This is what I'm doing all weekend, motherfuckers." See what dealing will do for you. This is. <laughs> this is how that will run. <laughs> Why are you hating? I'm not hating, man. This is we can afford that shit. <laughs> Putting my people out yet. there like that. Why not say yeah. their names? That's awesome. So, uh, if I could pick the thing that would like make this Christmas and probably make my next year, um, I would say this certain DSLR camera that I want. That's, that's which is, you know, it's like entry level filmmaking camera, and it's mm -hmm. more important than it sounds. It's like I want to be a filmmaker, and I've been sitting on these ideas of like movies. For, for years, this entire time I've been in high school, and I haven't been able to put any of them together, so this is like the tool that I need, at least to mm -hmm. start getting well-rounded in the in the craft. I want to ask, Brian, why the fuck are you laughing at him? Because he was like, you know, all this time I've been in high school thinking, man, it, it ain't really yeah. <laughs> I just Don't sit on those ideas, you know? John. Oh, uh, God, I mean, there's so much stuff on my list, but I'd, pr I'd probably have to go with season one of Arrow. Because, I mean, I just started watching the second season now. You're cheap, man. So. Right. Go on Netflix and watch that shit. That's what I'm doing. I want the sentimental value of it. Mm. That's kind of like how my mom bought me Spaceballs for Christmas one year. Spaceballs is great. Nice. And I was like, yeah. oh. And I never opened it. Cameraman. <laughs> what do I want this year? Because I'm getting to buy my own shit anyways. <laughs> um, don't think about it that way. Think about it. If somebody were to surprise you. You know what? Thing, because what you want to open this it? is going to sound crazy, but... What the hell? A girlfriend. Because, well, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> what you know, you know, I don't have to inflate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So wait, so, you know, so 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 he, he wants one of those life replica yeah. women. So, right from Japan. Just mail order bride. Yeah. I like your room. Take a pencil. Giggity. You want sake, sake? <laughs> Are you in trouble? You can fart in my face. I don't care. <laughs> Um, because of the cosplay stuff that I do, and we're trying to gear up for next year, I'm thinking I'm going to get uh, some Star Wars stuff, like a Chewbacca, and, and pick it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave you a fucking gift. You want a Chewbacca costume like in there? 400 bucks. Wow. 300, 400 dollars. Hey, man, that's, that's almost an Xbox One. Yeah. Almost. Almost. It's a PlayStation 4. Yeah, you know, yeah, and then, cool uh, you know, do that for one of the conventions. Cool. Junior. Nice. Oh, shit, I got to answer it? You got to answer it. Thirty seconds. I guess I, with the one thing I did ask for, that I don't think I am getting, 
A replica Power Ranger helmet. The green one, so I can get that shit signed next year. Nice. I bet you have one. It's morphing time. I was supposed to have one. Didn't happen. Didn't someone have one? Didn't Did we have one? That was no, he kept on talking about once we met JDF that he that he was going to get one. I just someone got one signed. And no, but no, he's sad. No, he's sad? Yeah, he's sad. Look at him. I'm all right. He's sad. He's going to go in his car and cry. I'll buy Single tear. Yeah. Watch, that's, See, Merry Christmas. that's gonna be the one gift we're on twelve and one. Laughing. That's that's John's gift. John's gonna get it. He's like, hey, guess what I'm gonna have signed? <laughs> yeah. That's all good. Guess what I got, motherfucker? Pull out like five original Megazords. <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just be like, be like, there's no sentimental value. Uh, yes, there is. Making you feel bad. That's sentimental <laughs> for me. <laughs> 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 that's all right. That's all right. Giving, exactly. Like you giving you giving you the you that I don't Over give a shit <laughs> about your feelings. <laughs> Over what you have. That's awesome. Well, that wraps up our Christmas special of the Spinner Rack. We'll come back next year, and our first episode will be reminiscing about this year's Christmas. What was good, what was bad, what we got that we wanted, what we didn't get. Bad sweaters. So yeah. the five of us will reunite for for the, for the, the, the reunion, for the, the Christmas reunion, the Christmas reunion. issue thirty two of the Spinner Rack. No, it would be issue one. Oh yeah, issue thirty two. Yeah, never 32. mind. I'm thinking. Okay. What, what are you trying to pull us a volume two shit with? Me? <laughs> no, it's the it reboot. Issue thirty one. It's the reboot. It would be thirty one because yes. this is a Christmas special. Oh, did I say thirty two? Yeah, thirty one. My bad. It's like fifty two. We're gonna reboot. There you go. We're all gonna look different. I'm gonna have new yeah, hair. You'll right. be bald. I'm gonna have fat. Yeah. <laughs> John's not gonna be not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony's gonna be like super quiet and, and by, be like the most shyest person. And by basically, next, they're gonna swap personalities. By next, and I'll have a nice, you know, a nice big set of tits. I think, awesome. okay, I think that would help out. I think that would help us out a lot. Carrie's gonna be like, Tony, I'll drive you home tonight. <laughs> I'll show you the bedroom with the movie theater. I mean, it would be in, in New 52 fashion. I in New 52 fashion, yeah. you'll, you'll be a chick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Junior will be gay. <laughs> what if? As always, you can find everything comics through Nixon. One more time. I couldn't even get that out after calling you gay. It was just, like, wonderful. I'll yeah, be happy next year. As always, Everything Spinner Rack related and Comics Remix, ComicsRemix.com on Facebook, Twitter, and at ComicsRemix.com. I, I swear to God, I'm not going to get this right either, man. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, it's like listening to him trying to sign off on his own show. Is it? <laughs> I, like, I have to step in and, like, dude, do, do I have to step in? <laughs> no, like, the whole it. episode Comics that he Remix. does Com- will be Comics all his shit. <laughs> and then he'd be like, I can't sign out. And it'd be like the simplest <laughs> shit. He'd be like, to contact me, contact me at carry at gmail.com. Or comics remix they at keep Gmail every week, at though, right? oh, yeah. but, uh, Hi, my name is. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, What's my name? You know. Who am I? What? Every week, something new. Just yeah. sign off already. Anyway, as always, people go open to presents. Right my co-host, Junior, co-host of Comics Remix. This is Carrie the Camera Guy from the One One. Jonathan Paparella, co-host of the Lock Up, and Tony Blando from the Lock Up podcast about all things professional wrestling. God damn, that's great. It is, isn't it? John. From everybody at the Spinner Rack Comics Remix, have a great Christmas, so like, you everybody. You're going to be like, you work at the Spinner Rack. I'm the first one. He's the second. Say Merry Christmas, Dick. Ho, ho, ho. Close, Close enough. enough. Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs>